my name is Sadie Breezy in the place to busy and welcome back to my channel so today on this video we will be talking about the CD4 count and the viral load the difference between a CD4 count and a viral load um, so when a person who is living with HIV when a person tests positive for HIV there are two things they need to keep in mind it is the CD4 count and their viral load so the CD4 count refers to the health of a person's immune system and the viral load refers to the amount of HIV copies in a person's blood CD4 count cells get attacked when a person gets infected with HIV because of I mean because the CD4 cells are there to make sure that it fights off infections in a person's body of course if HIV which is a foreign thing gets into a person's body the CD4 cells will try to fight off the virus but it happens that um, over time um, the virus if it's not treated it will fight to weaken a person's immune system making a person who's living with HIV more at risk of getting all these other opportunistic illnesses now let's get into what causes a high viral load if a person has recently been um, infected with HIV or if a person has been living with HIV but they have not been treating um, like they have not been on treatment that spikes up the amount of um, HIV copies in their blood because HIV as a virus works to replicate itself in a person's blood so the reason why it is so important that people who are living with HIV get ahead on like get to adhere on treatment is to make sure that they contain the virus and you know like yeah sort of like prevent it from replicating itself because if it goes untreated it keeps on replicating itself and your viral load will go high which is not a good look for a person who's living with HIV and adhering to treatment as a person who is living with HIV will lower your viral load to a point where um, it, your viral load gets undetectable hence U equals U undetectable equals untransmittable meaning that you cannot infect anyone if your viral load is at a level that it is called undetectable so it is important as a person who's living with HIV to be on treatment to take your pills well and to try not to default I mean we are human beings and sometimes we will skip sometimes we don't take them at the same time but it is important that we strive and strive to take these pills and just make sure that we understand why it is so important that we take this pills. it's important that we make sure that we reach a level that is called undetectable so that we can achieve something that's called U equals U undetectable equals untransmittable so a person who's living with HIV um, one state that is kind of desirable is having a CD4 count that is high and a viral load that is low and what that means is that the higher your CD4 count the healthier your immune system and the lower your viral load I mean the lower um, the amount of copies of HIV in your blood which means that you are still living with HIV you should not stop taking your ARVs but you now get to a point where you can no longer infect other people those levels are called undetectable it's called viral suppression so yeah you pretty much get to that point where you can no longer be able to infect other people but you must not stop taking your ARVs because um, that could also um, spike up your viral load again and that's something that we don't want so in closing as a person who is living with HIV when you get diagnosed with HIV and you are on treatment and you take your treatment well and there are absolutely no hassles with how you adhere to your treatment your viral load will go down and it could get to a point where it gets undetectable meaning that you cannot infect anyone which so far it is the greatest victory for us people who are living with HIV I mean it has given people who are living with HIV the freedom to say that I mean I, I was speaking to um, a very wonderful <laughs> A mentor of mine who was saying that you equals you is a feeling and it's such a beautiful feeling to have to go through as a person who is living with HIV knowing that yes I am living with HIV but I cannot pass it on 
right so um yeah another thing that i like saying because a lot of times when i speak about b equals you and about the fact that i am undetectable people tend to ask me questions like does that mean that you're no longer on treatment does that mean that you've been cured no i have not been cured i am still living with hiv i'm just at a point in my hiv journey where i cannot infect anyone with hiv um and even if i was to have a child i can still have a child and not um infect them so it is a yeah it is the greatest victory for people who are living with hiv to be able to achieve viral suppression so yeah let's just make sure to adhere to our treatment because the higher the cd4 count and the lower the viral load the great the 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 greater we are of hiv and the 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 more beautiful this narrative of hiv and how people living with hiv are supposed to look or live like gets changed every day with us not even trying too hard i mean you just need to take your pills and viral suppressed <laughs> so thank you so much for watching this video um i hope you took something from it i hope you you um, got to learn a bit about um, the differences between the CD4 count and viral load. I hope it was a bit informative and I hope you liked it. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any question, please comment down below. Um, if you feel like you know someone who could benefit from watching this video, please share my videos. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, guys. Please watch this video. Please um, watch other videos and if you like what you see please just subscribe and um, stay thank you so much I love you bye <laughs>